Good morning, you guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 8. Today, I am heading down to my grandmother's to help her out with something real quick this morning. Um, so I just made myself a quick cup of coffee and just threw on this outfit. I'm wearing that puffer ja jacket I got from Amazon the other day, and then this is just a pink sweatshirt. I was actually wearing this last night. And then I'm just wearing Athleta leggings. Um, it was so fun to get our Christmas tree last night. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to go home and stare at it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do this with my grandmother. And then today the plan is to go to Trader Joe's, do some returns. I don't know, I think that's it. But I'm excited, I'm so excited to go to Trader Joe's and get like a ton of stuff. So I have a bunch, I have a very long list and there's a ton of like frozen stuff I wanna get. I've honestly just been like, I love cooking, but I've just been like, I have too much going on. I need to like address our Christmas cards. I need tons of work stuff to do. That's because of Vlogmas. But I'm like, I think I just need to get some easy dinners to make our life a little easier the next couple days. Um, and I'm like going out to dinner and then this weekend we're busy again. So anyway, that's the plan for today. All right, so I'm back from my grandmother's. Um, it was quick, just helping her out while she ran some errands. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna quickly get ready. I woke up feeling like other than a blemish here and a blemish here, my skin's been looking really good. I've actually been using, I haven't talked about this. I don't know if I've ever talked about this. It's been a long time. I use Curology. It's, this is like a kind of an older bottle. Um, I kind of stretch it because um, it can be like, I don't say it's expensive because it's not expensive compared to like prescription stuff depending on your insurance. But it's like a, you like sign up and then they have a dermatologist on their end like give you a recommended thing. And I'll be totally honest, I found this works better than what my dermatologist can offer me because it's kind of all combined. Like I actually brought this to my dermatologist and she was like, yeah, it's great. Like it's good stuff. She recommended a few different things, but I've used those and I haven't found them to be as good. Also, it was like such an annoying thing because I had to work with my insurance to get them covered and whatever. It was just like annoying. So anyway, I still use this and I plan to repurchase it again. It's basically like, yeah, they give you like a formulation and it comes, I, like I said, this comes in a cream compared to like gels or whatever. So it doesn't, it just doesn't feel very harsh on my skin. But if I use it like a few days in a row, my skin is so clear. Like I just feel like it, I get rid of any like, I get kind of like bumpy skin, like just little like dry spots or like clogged pores, just kind of, it just doesn't look great. So anyway, if I use this, if I wash my face and then use this and then put moisturizer on top, my skin, Looks really good. But anyway, I woke up this morning thinking, wow, my skin looks pretty good. Um, so I was happy about that, but I'm still gonna get ready quickly because I'm gonna obviously be filming today, but I also am gonna film a separate video to go up this weekend because this weekend I have to be shooting that wedding, so I want a video to go up, even though I'm not gonna vlog on Saturday. Also, I'm loving this jacket. It's so comfortable. Like, I don't know why, just like the lightness of it. I like the color of it. It's just feeling like, I'm gonna definitely be something I throw on. It's just like comfortable, you know, I don't know if you guys feel this way, but if you're like sort of like broader in the shoulders, like sometimes wearing a big jacket in the car, I just feel kind of like, I don't know, like tight. Like I just don't, I don't like it. I like feeling like I can move around and whatever. And this jacket is just really like easy to wear. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone, but if it does, you know what I'm talking about. So I just use unseen sunscreen. And then I'm gonna use this NARS Tinted Moisturizer. I'm almost out of this. I get it in the color Light Zero. I really like this stuff. I feel like it looks so good on the skin, especially in the winter when your skin is drier, uh, but it's very light coverage or pretty light coverage. Um, so I think this will actually be perfect with that new concealer I got that's more full coverage. I will say when I put this on yesterday, it did last, like I felt like all day. Um, whereas a lot of times I feel like concealer can kind of like just fade away. Okay, obviously I'm someone who touches my face a lot, which is I know not a good thing, but I definitely do. But this concealer definitely feels like it's, it's like stay and put, you know, it's there. Okay, so this powder I got, I opened this last night to like look at it and I didn't realize this powder is like has some shimmer to it. It's called like their luminous powder. So I thought it would be, I don't know what I was thinking, but it definitely seems to have a little bit of a shimmer to it. I think it's really light, so I don't think it'll matter, but I guess we'll find out. Um, okay, and then last thing, I'm gonna use my favorite mascara, the Lash 
voluminous lash paradise for hair I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is I don't think it looks that bad I'll probably clip it back but I'm trying to not put as much heat on it especially for things I don't like need to put heat on it for all right 10 minute get ready done I wanted to show you guys this outfit just because this is some of my favorite athleisure and I don't know if I've ever showed it. So anyway, these are the um, Athleta, I think these are Alation tights. I have them in navy. I love them. They feel a little snug when you get them on, but they stay up really well. Um, and I just, I think the look of them is really nice. They're very smoothing. They're just like, I feel very comfortable wearing these as pants. And then this sports bra, I'm actually going to change out of this because I'm going to go try on some clothes. And it's hard to wear a sports bra if you're going to try on clothes. So I'm going to put a regular bra on and a different top. But this sports bra is their long line. I think it's the Warrior. I don't know. I'll, I'll link both of them down below so you guys can shop them. But um, I love this sports bra. It's very comfortable. It has just a cross back. Um, I don't know if you can see. I just feel like the long length, if you have larger boobs is just helpful because you just get a little bit more coverage um and i just feel like things don't roll like i just find it more comfortable personally but anyway i'm gonna throw a different top one so i can go shopping i just got to old navy i have some returns to make um and then i'm also gonna do a try on the try on video is gonna come out on saturday so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that i'm gonna i'm filming it for saturday because i'm shooting a wedding um on saturday and i just don't want to have to like film that day and then I'm just gonna upload Friday on Sunday so that's the plan so that I don't go actually crazy vlogmas is definitely starting to get a little bit more challenging just last week it wasn't that bad and I was kind of like what's the big deal it's not that hard but I had kind of prepped in advance so I had all my work done and this week um things are kind of back to normal plus I've had a lot of like family stuff, you know, like, like hanging out with Max's grandparents and just just some more family stuff going on and just been busier in general. Also, the pressure of like my own Christmas stuff I gotta do, like I still need a few gifts. All right, next up is this jacket. Okay, this jacket is so cute. Okay, this top is one of my favorites. All right, I'm back from Old Navy and I got my stuff returned. Tried on a bunch of stuff, filmed that video. Um, now I am going to go to Trader Joe's and I'm really hoping, I just realized that I might not still have the greenery that I want. Last year I got a bunch of fresh greenery and like fresh wreaths from them, like two of each I think. And I'm really hoping they still have it. I got so much greenery that I'm literally out of space. <laughs> food. All right, I was gonna share more in Trader Joe's, but it was busy and also I filled my cart like instantly and suddenly it was just like, I just needed to get in and get out. All right, let's do a Trader Joe's haul. I'm just gonna go through everything kind of out of order because whatever who cares um first thing i got that i ate some in the car because i was hungry for lunch are these trader joe's peppermint pretzel slims very delicious but a little too sweet honestly and they're kind of like white chocolatey so if you like white chocolate you'd like that but no it's not my favorite all right the next thing i got is the spicy chai mix this is really good and i use this all the time but i it's just nice you can just leave it in the pantry and like obviously it doesn't go bad um I also got this chai because in the fall and winter I'm really into chai and it will be nice as like a afternoon drink um, and this is the concentrate so you can like pour this but it doesn't last obviously as long. Um, I got, this is kind of random but I got this body wash. I just wanted like a different body wash. This is like a citrus one. It smells really good. Um, all right. I'm planning to make some fun cocktails so I got this 100% cranberry juice. And then somewhere there's also a pomegranate juice because I want to make some fun drinks that'll be coming in a vlog soon. I got these two, which I honestly don't know if these were even a good deal, but I got these um, pillar candles because I wanted some unscented candles for like our dining room table. Um, I got this Merla facial oil to use with my gua sha because I don't have one. I, I had one, but I can't find it. So anyway, I got these minty marshmallows dark 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 chocolate covered minty marshmallows i had these last year and they were really good and i thought they'd be fun for like hot cocoa situation apparently i was just in the peppermint vibe because i also got these peppermint creams which are really good um i've had those before 
And then I got this, which is whipping cream, but in the like shelf stable kind, which I really like these because they're very convenient to have on hand. All right, that's the first bag. Also, I forgot my reusable bags. Um, I got raspberries for like yogurt and just eating. Salmon for dinner one day. I was really into, they had a few saute kits, so I bought a few of them. I got two of these Brussels sprout ones because I've been making like a shaved Brussels sprout salad and this is like way easier. So I think we're gonna make that for maybe for dinner tonight. And then this is um, a miso vegetable one. I thought this would be good for lunches and stuff too. Oh, and then I also got this one, which is a broccoli and cauliflower one. So yeah, we'll see. And they have um, like dressings and stuff, but I like, I realized recently that I really like warm salads. I don't really like cold salads as much, so I've been leaning into making as many warm salads as I can. I got these smoked apple and Chardonnay sausages, like four on top of salads and stuff like that. I got Gruyere cheese, because I want to make French onion soup. And then I just got um, whole milk yogurt. Um, Max likes eating that. All right. Then for frozen stuff, I got the Naki Gorgonzola. I like that one. I got two bags of the mandarin orange chicken because it's our favorite. It's so much cheaper than going, like getting takeout. I got fettuccine Alfredo. I've never tried this, but it looked like it would be good. And I just thought it'd be nice to have some like quick sides. I got chicken fried rice. Normally we eat this with the orange chicken. Got two of those. Oh, I actually got three orange chickens. I forgot to mention this, but I don't actually go to Trader Joe's very often, like probably every two or three months because it's not super close. Um, so I don't actually go that often. So I kind of stock up. This was a huge stock up because I don't normally get this much at a grocery, grocery store. I also got sliced white mushrooms for dinner one day this week. Um, I love this sourdough bread. This is the San Francisco style sourdough. It's really good. Um, I got some bananas. Some red peppers. I didn't get as much fruit as I normally do because Max's grandparents actually sent us like one of those big boxes with like oranges and grapefruits and pears and apples. So um, we have a ton of oranges and stuff right now. Um, got some avocados. More frozen stuff. These are pork goiza. I'll like just make these with like a side of broccoli. Super easy dinner. Okay, this is the pomegranate juice. Um, so we got that. I got coconut water actually for a cocktail I want to make. Um, I got a big thing of cocoa powder for some baking and for some coffee recipes I want to try. I got dark chocolate chips also for coffee. Um, and then I got beef stock for French onion soup. Um, oh, I got a few cards. I like to just pick up cards from Trader Joe's because they're 99 cents. And I feel like they're cute and it's just so convenient to have them on hand. I literally leave them in our kitchen. So if we're going somewhere, I can just grab one and like be ready to go. Um, I also got two of these sheet masks. These are some of my favorite sheet masks. They're $1.99. They have, um, they're like hydrating. I'm pretty sure they have hyaluronic acid in them. They're super gentle, but it's just fun to like have a face mask, but these are super cheap. And um, I like a sheet mask cause it's just like, I feel like it's just like a little easier to clean up. So anyway, I got two of those. Okay, the last bag, I got a big block of Parmesan just to have on hand and for the French onion soup. I got these chocolate croissants. If you've never tried these, these are so convenient. You just keep them in the freezer and then the night before you wanna make them, you set them out. They rise all night and then you bake them in the morning. It's like awesome if someone comes over or just if you want a special breakfast but you don't wanna go anywhere. It's very convenient. I got some goat cheese for those salads probably. I got pomegranate seeds, which I, I like wanted to just buy a pomegranate, but they didn't actually have any. I think they were just sold out. It looked like they had a spot, but they're out. So I just bought the pre-seeded stuff for a cocktail or eating, I guess. All right, and then the last thing I got is half and half and lactose-free reduced fat milk. I know it's weird, but I drink regular milk like nobody else. Well, I drink lactose-free milk most of the time, um, but yeah, I drink regular milk. I like oat milk, I like almond milk, but I kind of just prefer the way that regular milk like works in like recipes and like coffee and stuff like that. So I just buy regular milk, but it doesn't upset my stomach. 
especially if it's lactose free. I can drink regular milk too, but um, this is just easier if I'm cooking for a group or something. So yeah, that's all I got. Oh, hold on. These are the last thing I got. This is just this big wreath. Last year they had smaller ones, but I got this one. I don't know whether I'm gonna either put this on, I kind of was thinking on our table and like with candles on the inside as like a centerpiece, but I don't know, put this somewhere. This was like 10 bucks or something. And then these are like 10 bucks and this is um, garland. It's all wrapped up. I actually got two of these. I got two of these last year and it's a lot, but I just loved how it looked. It's so lush. Um, and I think I'm gonna put these around mirrors or maybe I could even cut a piece and put it down the table if I wanted to. I'm not sure exactly where I'll put it, but I think it's gonna be beautiful. All right, that's it. I'm gonna go put all this away and then I'm gonna make myself some lunch and get started on the work I need to do. I just came upstairs to sit down at my desk to finally start editing Vlogmas, which I've never uploaded it this late. I haven't even started blog editing it. Anyway, and I put back on that sports bra I was wearing earlier, and then I just put this cashmere sweater on top. This is from Universal Standard. It's so cozy. Guys, I'm done working for the day, so I decided it'd be fun to try to make one of those cocktails I was thinking of. So today at the store, obviously, I got pomegranate juice. So I think I'm gonna try to make a pomegranate margarita. Oh my God, my camera's dying. One second. Okay guys, welcome to my kitchen. I just finished work and I decided I wanted to try making a cocktail. I wanted to try making a pomegranate margarita. I'm sure someone's done this, but I've never done it and I think I should try it. But the only problem is I don't have any limes. I think I might have lime juice, but I have this pomegranate juice. So we're gonna use that. I have some fresh pomegranates in here. These are actually a little bit old, but I think they'll be fine. And then I have tequila and triple sec. Let me see if I have lime juice actually. So I don't have any lime juice. I do have a margarita mix, but that's not really the point. I have oranges, so I could use an orange. Maybe let's try that, let's try that. Let's make it with an orange. I hate how you guys can't see the table. Here, maybe I should, I should move you guys back one second. Ha, huh, I should've been doing this the whole time. Okay, we're trying to make a pomegranate margarita. I have used half an orange, um, so a shot of triple sec, a shot of tequila, and a shot of pomegranate juice. I feel like that's not the right ratio. I feel like I'm gonna need a little more pomegranate juice. It would be great if I had limes, but I don't. Put a bunch of ice in here. I like my drinks really cold. Oh, it's pretty color. I feel like it needs a little more pomegranate juice. Shaker is from OXO and I love it because it's plastic. I've had, I haven't had a metal one, but it was so like, like hard to clean and stuff. Put it over some ice. Cause sometimes I think drinks just take, just need like some ice in them. They just need to be like melted down. Well, that's good. It's not very sweet. I think it would be better with lime. So for when I really make it, I'm gonna add a squeeze of lime. I'm so mad I don't even have one lime in this whole house. And I'll put some pomegranate seeds in it. Okay, I think that's actually so pretty and so delicious looking. Look at that. Look how pretty. Okay, I've been drinking my drink. It's delicious. I actually really recommend this recipe. Um, and I just wrote a bunch of our Christmas cards. Mm. And now I'm gonna start dinner. It's like 6.45. Um, we're gonna have, I think, one of those warm salad kits I got from Trader Joe's. All right, guys, I'm going to end off the vlog here. That salad was good, but I will say, I think the salad I make, the Brussels sprout, warm Brussels sprout salad I make is way better. Um, so I'll link that recipe down below because I think it's really delicious. Um, and the one, I don't know, it was good. It was really fast. Like it was very convenient. I'm excited to try some of the other ones I got, but anyway, I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.